happen to me. Jesus is the best thing that's ever happened. Oh, you know Jesus. Jesus is the best thing that's ever happened. Jesus is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Amen. Amen. Somebody say praise the Lord. This is a home going, am I right? Yes, it is. We didn't come here for a funeral, not this morning. We came for a home going. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Deaconess Mary Jones. Well, as you heard from both friends and family. Yes. Amen. She was a beloved member here at Highline Glen Echo Baptist Church. Amen. Amen. And not only was she beloved, she was faithful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I said Deacon is Mary Jones with faith. Yes, sir. She served as a deacon under at least two pastors that I know of. Yes. Our former pastor, Reverend Frank James, and, and myself. You heard she was a choir member. And we could get her to sing lovely soprano voice. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. You heard she was a teacher. Yes. She was artistic. Yes. In a crafts. She worked diligently with the youth department. She worked in the outreach ministries. Yes, she did. Often riding with pastors and some of the other clergy and deacons to visit the sick and the shut in. She was involved in our Christmas and Easter community outreaches. And on top of all these many accolades. The most important to me is she was saved. Yes. Hallelujah. I see the most important to me is she was saved. Yes. And I come to tell you she was my friend. Yes. And oh my God. Could she make you laugh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember two incidents. Uh-oh. One we were visiting the sick and shut in. And I think I had to make a sudden stop because uh -oh. of traffic or something. So she just caught out from the back seat. You don't want me to drive, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So I looked at her. I said, no, you won't be driving this morning. <laughs> but then I thought, I said, can you drive? <laughs> oh, yes, you can. <laughs> They told me she was someone else back in the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then the, the second incident. Say that. You say that. Now I wasn't passing them, but I was Christian education director. All right. All right. So naturally, what happened was brought to my attention. Somebody came and told me, say, say, Reverend Mitch, where is the youth Sunday school class? Well, I'm not going to they downstairs, ain't you? That's where we designated them to be at. The class was gone. The teacher was gone. Oh my God. <laughs> For us to later find out, and I know this must have came from the Lord, she decided to take them to, up the street to McDonald's. <laughs> and when she got back, <laughs> Yes, she did. I couldn't complain because she seemed normal with it. The kids were happy. Yeah, but Grease and Crumb, you know Crumb, all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> she can make you laugh. But her faithfulness, enthusiasm, <laughs> and energy were unmatched. You say Even when her soulmate passed. Yeah, say that. Deacon Clarence Jones. Mm -hmm. She remained committed to serving Jesus Christ. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else could have just gave up. Mm -hmm. yeah. But not our men. Mm -hmm. She know he had gone to the better place. And she still had love, as many of you said, and cared for us. Yes. Oh, yeah. 
I just come here this morning to tell you that Mary, Deacon is Mary Jones, she was loved truly by God. Amen. And I understand that all of us that knew her love her. Yes. Yes. But I come here to blow your mind and tell you, but certainly God loved her more. Yeah. And even in death, God is still loving on her. Yeah. I better explain it to somebody. Because yeah. somebody might ask, well, how does he have, how can he love her when she's dead? She's gone. Well, first thing I remind you, the Bible said that she's not dead. Come on now. I said. She's just falling asleep. Yeah. The second thing I must tell you is God is not us. Jesus has access to her that we don't have access to. Come on, somebody. So even now, we're just living in a body, but the soul is fellowshipping with the Lord. And what can I say? This statement, who or what, can separate us from the love of God? So I said what I had to say about Deacon's marriage. The rest of this is for the family. And I'm just going to quote a few things out from Romans chapter 8, verses 31 through 39. And it says, what then shall we say to these things? I come and tell you, if God is for us, who can be against us? Understand this. Pilots put confidence in their plans. Travelers or commuters place their confidence in trains, cars, and buses. Daily, we put our confidence in something or someone. And if you're willing to trust a plane, a car, or a bus to get you to your destination, how much more are you willing to trust God to guide you here on earth and to take you on to eternity? I come to ask you a question. Do you trust God more than any human being? It is to trust anything or anyone more uh, than God. Say that. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 1, verse 8 uh -oh. God, I am the Alpha and, and the Omega, yeah. the beginning yeah. and the end, yes. says the Lord, yes. who is, who was, and who is to come. Right. The Almighty. Come on, somebody. Yeah. God, let even his own son. Suffer for us. Yes, he God did. gave his son for us all. Yes. Not just for a few. Come on. Not just for the Baptists. Not just for the Catholic. Not just for the Presbyterian. Uh -huh. But he gave his son for all of us. So with Jesus, God will surely give us all things. Uh -huh. Remember John 3.16? Yes. For God so loved the world. Oh, yeah. And he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever, that means all of us, y'all, believes in him shall not perish, but have the everlasting life. Yeah. And I come to tell you this morning, when you don't know Christ or who God is, we start making poor choices. We start living our life as though this life is all we have. But I heard somebody say that I'm just a graveyard traveler and this yeah. world is not my home. For in reality, this life is just a gateway to eternity. I come this morning to tell you, you haven't seen anything yet. All right. But 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 says, Eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on now. And I come to ask, if God is who he said he is, shall bring a charge against God's elect. Uh -huh. Say that. Understand first, it's God who justified. It's God that got the endorsement. First Chronicles, first, chapter 16, verse 22, says now, do not touch my anointing. That's right. And do my prophets no harm. Yes. Again, if God is for us, who can be against us? It is Christ who died. Yes, yes. Did nobody else die for you? Yes. So who's got the nerve to condemn you? It is Christ who died. And furthermore, yes. it's also he's the only one that risen. Uh -huh. He's at the right hand of God, yes. making intercession yes. 
for you and me. Yes. 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 And think about it. If Christ gave his life for you, uh -huh. he isn't going to turn around and then condemn you later, is he? No. Okay. It don't make sense. Okay. Romans chapter 5, verse 8 says, Come on. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. Then listen to me this morning. All right, While we were still sinners, Come on. Christ died for us. Yes. God has acquitted us. Yes, he, has. he has removed our sin and guilt. Yes. So it is Satan, not God, who condemns us. Uh -huh. Come on. And when Satan does try to accuse you and me, Jesus, our defense law, uh -huh. Jesus, our advocate, yes. stands at God's right hand. To present our case. Yes. No one can add to what Jesus did Amen. to save us. Amen. All of our past, present, and future sins are forgiven. Yes. That all sounds like some good news to somebody. It is. Yes, it is. And it says here, based on what I've just said, can anything separate us from the love Christ has for us? Can troubles or problems All right, now. or sufferings, if we have no food or if we have no clothes, if we are in danger, or even if death comes, can any of these things separate us from the love of Christ? As it is written, for your sake, we are killed all day long. Yeah. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yes. Understand this, becoming a Christian is not a cakewalk. All right. But I come to tell you this, it it's worthy of the walk. Yes. This passion only confirms God's sincere love for his people. Yes. No matter what happens, no matter. I say no matter what happens, no matter where we are, right. we can never be lost to God's love. Yes. Suffering shouldn't drive us away from God. That's right. But suffering should draw us closer right. to God. All right. Now. Where his love and only his love can heal us. Yes. Suffering may not always result because of punishment. Yes. See, we can we under the thing that we think that if you did something wrong, if you suffered, you must have did something wrong. No. No. But let me give you another alternative. Right. Sometimes we suffer because of our commitment to, to the Lord. Sometimes you suffer because of your faithfulness to the Lord. Sometimes suffering comes just to test our Lord. That's right. All our dangers, humiliations, trials, are opportunities for Christ to demonstrate his power and his presence. In and through us who love him. Yeah. Yet, it says in all these things, I've just said that again. I say yet, in all these things, we are more than copies. Yeah. I say we're more than copies. Through him who loved us. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50, 57 says, But thanks be to God. He gives us the victory yes, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. In our daily lives, we must regularly, come on now, listen to me, yes. we must often crucify our sinful desires that keep us from following Christ. We are no longer alone, for Christ lives in us. Amen. He is our power for living yes. and our hope for the future. Yes, yes it said, I am sure that nothing can separate us from the love God has for us. Not death, not life, not angels, not ruling spirits, nothing now, nothing in the future. No powers, nothing above us, yes. nothing below yes. us, yes. or anything else in the whole world will ever be able to separate us yes. from the love of God yes. that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. These verses have contained one of the most comforting promises in all scriptures. Mm -hmm. Believers have always had to face hardships in many forms. Mm -hmm. 
persecution, illnesses, imprisonments, and even death. These hardships could cause us to think that Jesus has abandoned us. But Paul animately yells that that's impossible. It's impossible for Christ to abandon us. It's impossible for Christ to be separated from us. Remember, even his death on the cross for us is proof of his love. Nothing can stop Christ's constant presence with us. God tells us how great his love is so that we will feel totally secure in him. Christ, the Bible tells you how much God loves you so you can be, have peace yes. and trust yes. that you are secure in God. Yes. And if we believe these overwhelming assurances in the Bible about how much God and Jesus loves us, yes. we will not be afraid. We will not be afraid. For the fact is, after all, it says in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 22, who else? Ask yourself, who else has gone into heaven? No. Who else mm -hmm. is sitting at God's right hand? All right now. Who else Jesus. has the power over the angels and has authority that all submit to him? Who else yeah. rose from an old, got pinned nailed up on an old rugged cross? Who else? Uh -huh. Hug his head and die. Yeah. On the Who else? Stayed there all day Saturday night. Who else? Yeah. Alan. I said Alan stuck him on. Yeah. Rose with all power in his hand. Yeah. Who else? Yeah. Had the power to wake us up. Who else? Because he talked. Because he rose. I don't talk the way I used to talk. Yeah. <laughs> because he rose. I don't walk the way I used to walk. Yeah. Who else? to do it but Jesus. Okay. And if you agree with me that there's nobody else, yeah. then you should also agree with me that nothing else, that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Love of God. Yes. God bless you and God keep you. Amen. 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 We ask the senior directors come at this time. Mm -hmm.